The Lapram breed is a cat with curly fur, a pointed muzzle and an affectionate character. Felinologists refer this breed to the most sociable and friendly cats. The breed can be seen at exhibitions, but in everyday life it is not so common. Lapram belongs to the category of medium-sized cats. The average weight is 5 to 6 kilograms. There are individuals that weigh 3 to 4 kilograms, they are very light. The Lapram cat is always larger than the cat, but the difference is negligible. Curly coat is the main feature of the breed. The curls make it possible to classify the Laperma as a Rex. Rex is a cat with thick curly hair. There are short-haired and long-haired Laprams. Some varieties of long-haired Laprim have a voluminous collar, as well as a more fluffy tail with feathers at the tip. The fur looks untidy this is a specific breed trait. The coat of Laprim cats is curly or wavy. The fur is softer than it might seem at first glance. The hair structure is very elastic. The hairs are far behind the body. There is no undercoat. It is interesting. Once a year, Laprim can completely lose its coat. At these moments, he looks like a real sphinx. Fur loss occurs during the molting period. The pet must be protected from hypothermia, drafts. The average life expectancy is 15 years. However, with proper care, quality nutrition, pets with good genetics live 17 to 18 years. The advantages of the breed include. Nice quiet voice. Not aggressive. Easy to get along with other pets. The main advantage is that cat hair does not cause allergies in others, since it does not have an undercoat, the offspring of cats of this breed always inherit the hypoallergenic gene from their ancestors. The disadvantages of the breed include constant fight against fleas, the need to constantly care for the coat, Laprim is too curious, high prices for kittens. Many people want to have an obedient and affectionate predator at home, but getting it is not so easy. Life in the wild leaves a significant imprint both on the individuals themselves and on their offspring. The first attempt to breed such an animal was, at first glance, successful. The resulting breed called Savannah, unusually beautiful and with good physical data, gained wild popularity. But over time, significant problems appeared. In the very first generation bred, the males turned out to be infertile, and the subsequent ones gradually lost their resemblance to predatory cats. The second attempt by Karen Southman was more successful. The breeder crossed a domestic pedigree cat with a domestic pedigreed cat. Naturally, the animals that were selected for work underwent the strictest selection, since they had to be as similar as possible to servals, eye section, ear and torso size, limb length, color. The Abyssinian and Maine Coon breeds were used, among other things. The first representative of the Serengeti breed was introduced to the general public in 1994. Her beauty was recognized everywhere, but the official status to date has been issued only from one international association TICA. But the work to improve the breed does not stop, and the breed has every chance to take a high line in the overall ranking of popular breeds in the world. Outwardly, the Serengeti are very reminiscent of servals. Both in body and body. Males weigh a lot 13 to 15 kilograms, cats are significantly less than 8 to 10 kilograms. Advantages? Attractive appearance, unpretentiousness in care and conditions of detention, excellent health, friendly disposition, equanimity and confidence are the main character traits, strongly attached to the house. Disadvantages? Too big to keep in small apartments, the breed does not have a registered status, overly active, inquisitive, sometimes annoying, tire with talkiness, are expensive, rare, cannot participate in exhibitions. An elf cat is one of the most expensive and rare cat breeds. Their appearance is more like an alien creature than a standard cat. They are hairless and their ears have a funny curl. By nature, they are very affectionate and kind, love people. The origin story began with two dedicated American breeders, Karen Nelson and Kristen Leadham. The goal was to breed a hairless breed with curled ears. This idea came to their mind in the late 1990s. The first results of the experiments appeared in 2006. Already in 2007, elves were officially registered with Tika. A cat with elf ears could not get a different name for the breed. Curl and Canadian Sphinx participated in mating. Of course, in the first generation there were kittens with hair, but they were already carriers of the hairless recessive gene. From the curl, the kittens got unusual ears and a good-natured character, and from the Sphinx a strong physique and hairlessness. Kittens can be born in the litter with both curled ears and straight ones. Elves with straight ears are commonly called elf straight. Outwardly, they strongly resemble ordinary Canadian sphinxes. There are also dwarfs. 
The dwarf is a hybrid of the Canadian Sphinx, American Curl and Munchkin. Outwardly, dwarfs look like elves, but with shorter legs. Dwarf, unlike straits, costs a little more. Small differences bring diversity to this breed. Now most of the nurseries are located in the US and Canada. Advantages? Unusual. Almost fantastic appearance. Does not shed and is very clean. Smart and yet obedient. Disadvantages? High cost of a kitten, absolutely does not tolerate low temperatures and exposure to ultraviolet radiation, rancor, display of character. Safari is one of the most unique and interesting cat breeds. These animals are distinguished by wild, natural beauty, large size and at the same time calm, friendly, balanced character. In care unpretentious, but still need to provide certain conditions. Safari is a hybrid breed that was born in the 70s of the last century due to the crossing of a wild and domestic cat. The progenitors of the safari were the South American cat Geoffroy, short-haired Europeans and Americans. The first experiments of breeders were unsuccessful, since the resulting offspring turned out to be infertile. Later female Jeffreys were crossed with Bengal and Siamese cats. Until now some experts refuse to recognize this breed, arguing that representatives of the safari do not differ at all from the descendants of the Geoffroy wildcat. But safaris are very popular, which is not surprising given their unique appearance, unpretentiousness and good-natured playful disposition. Safaris are big and beautiful animals. The weight category of an adult representative of the breed can vary from 10 to 12 kilograms. A distinctive feature of the safari is their special leopard color, like a wild cat, with a predominance of brown, silver or golden hues. Smoky colors also look very impressive, but are extremely rare. Amazing, mesmerizing eyes attract attention almond-shaped, with the tips of the eyelids slightly raised to the top. These pets have a long and unusually flexible tail, a large head with pronounced cheekbones. Despite their large size and somewhat predatory appearance, safaris are ideal for the role of pets. Representatives of this breed are very tame, sociable and friendly. Safaris love to spend time curled up on their knees. In general representatives of the safari breed have much more advantages than disadvantages, for which many cat lovers liked it. The Tiger is a breed of cat that is sometimes referred to as little tigers. Indeed, the similarity is noticeable to the naked eye. It's good that it's only external. In fact, these cats are very friendly. Tigers love children and are quite good with strangers. They do not show aggression if they are treated normally. The only noticeable downside is the high price. But there's nothing you can do about it. Tigers can be called balanced and moderate, they do not like to rush to extremes. Cats treat their household members affectionately, but they do not show excessive annoyance. Tigers are very energetic and mobile, but they will not rush around the house at the speed of light. In general, these striped creatures can be safely considered good-natured and responsive. These tiger cats have one important feature, which is called curiosity. They try to carefully study all the space around them and are always very interested when they see something new. Interesting fact. These cats do not like loneliness. They are always hanging out with you, keeping abreast of all household chores. Left alone, the tiger will be bored and perceive this loneliness as imprisonment or some kind of punishment. The pluses include. Kindness and sociability that attract attention and help the animal, kitten, quickly get used to a new family, moderation in actions makes toigers balanced and restrained, and the owner can be calm that the home will not suffer from cat games, at least there will not be too heavy damage, decaying and depressive mood is not typical for toigers, they always keep their composure and vigilance. Cats are easily trainable and trainable, toigers are unpretentious in maintenance, they do not require any specialized care, spectacular appearance of cat tigers, toigers get along quite calmly with other pets, they can even make companionship with them. Cons of the breed. Over curiosity, which in some cases can hurt cats trying to stick their nose where it shouldn't, excessive gullibility can also play a cruel joke with toigers, because these cats can gladly make contact with a stranger who paid them at least a little attention. Slightly nasty cat voice can be considered a disadvantage, but very tiny, because these cats prefer silence. Uncastrated cats and mature cats with rapture and thoroughness put labels, denoting their possessions. The huge cost of toigers due to their small number should also be attributed to shortcomings. Pawn Breed is a channel with animal content. We post videos about cats, dogs, kittens, puppies, rare breeds of cats and dogs, as well as everything related to these cute and beloved pets. Subscribe to the latest news about cats and dogs.
At Paw and Breed you will find various rare cat and dog breeds, tips on choosing and caring for the right breed. Watch our videos about cats and dogs.